Now, way back in 2019, AMD released what was probably one of the best CPUs of modern times, particularly when it came to the budget gamer. This is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look to see how well it still performs in some modern games. Now when AMD released Ryzen they did a fantastic job and over the generations they've improved them quite a bit but back in 2019 they released a CPU that was extremely popular. This is the AMD Ryzen 5 3600 and it wasn't just popular because of the performance it gave, it was actually a great priced CPU particularly for budget gamers. Released at just £199 this CPU gave you 6 cores, 12 threads, a base clock speed of 3.6GHz and a boost clock speed of 4.2 and boy could it hold that 4.2. To, even in our own testing with a stock AMD cooler this thing would boost to 4.2 all day long. Being on the Zen 2 architecture it actually offered quite an IPC increase over the previous generations which actually meant it was a much faster and mature chip but compared to the more modern 5000 series and 7000 series it probably doesn't hold up so well particularly when it comes to the price. Nowadays you can pick these up still brand new for about £90 which isn't that far off what you can actually pick up a 5000 series CPU but it does have some benefits. This CPU actually does support PCI GM4 which a lot of the modern budget AMD 5000 series CPUs don't. So if you have this running in the right motherboard you can actually pair it up nicely with an RX 6500 or a 6400 and it would work perfectly. I wouldn't necessarily advise anybody going out and getting one of these now new because you could actually get something like the 5600 or the 5600X but near enough they're about the same price. But when it comes to the pre-owned market these are going cheap and that's because there was a lot of them out there. Now there are a lot of positives with this CPU and we will get into some benchmarking to show you how well it still performs but there were some negatives and they still exist today. For some reason the Zen 2 chips are a little bit funny when it comes to cooling even this one during our testing would peak up and down for absolutely no reason you would reach temperatures just for a split second of around 70 degrees and then it would go back down again and it doesn't seem to matter what cooling solution you use. We actually started our testing out with an AMD Wraith Prism which is a stock cooler from AMD but it is one of their biggest and you still got the temperature spikes then. But even when you pair it up with something like a 360mm radiator on an AIO, it still exists. So you're not really going to get rid of that. It is a bit of a shame because some people do panic over those kind of temps, but it's perfectly fine for this CPU. I tend to find when you go to the 5000 series, particularly with the 65 watt chips, they're super easy to cool and they pretty much stay really low. Now this is a 65 watt chip as well, but it does have those peaks, but it's something you actually start to learn to live with. Now the Ryzen 5 3600 is still a powerful chip, there's no doubt in that. And today we were going to do some benchmarking and we've paired it up with this. This is the RX 6600. It's not the most powerful GPU that we could have paired with this CPU. It can take a lot more, but this is a more realistic view of what gamers out there are actually going to pair with things like this. Anything higher than that, I would suggest you go for a 5000 series CPU or one of the new 7000 series CPUs because then you're going to get the full potential of your graphics card. The RX 6600 in some of our benchmarking does actually become the bottleneck to this CPU which tells us it's got a little bit more life left in it. Now for our benchmarks we've used a number of games. Games starting from 2019 when the CPU was released all the way up to 2022 so they are pretty modern games and we've tried to make a bit of a selection where they become very CPU intensive. So let's take a look at those benchmarks and then we'll discuss what we had to do to be able to get this chip to run smoothly.
So as you can tell from the benchmarks, this pairing makes a great 1080p experience. We managed to get pretty decent frame rates across 1080p high settings on all of those games. You can even dabble in some 1440p or even some 4K gaming if you're happy to run at 60 frames per second. The only game that we couldn't get to the magic target of 60 frames per second was of course Cyberpunk 2077. Now Cyberpunk is an extremely CPU intensive game and that's where the Ryzen 5 3600 started to show its age a little. But with a few tweaks to the settings we could actually get there and we didn't need any magic software to achieve it. Just simply reducing the quality settings to medium which in fact didn't actually affect the visuals that much at all and locking our frame rate at 60 using vsync we managed to get a solid 60 fps with a pretty decent one percent low of 48 that meant the game was extremely smooth and you could play it all the way through not an issue even when you're in the car which we all know when you're in the car in cyberpunk is the worst time when it comes to performance now the ryzen 5 3600 has to be one of my favorite chips and that is because it offered great performance at great value when it was released and it's still offering that performance even now i'm not exactly sure what i'm going to do with this chip yet we actually had it in from an upgrade that i did to my son's pc if you want to watch that video make sure you go check out the channel i am actually thinking about building myself a miniature pc at the moment i want something for vr that i can actually use in different rooms and i need something transportable and i think this cpu is definitely got the power to be able to do that i may even pair it up with the 6600 or i do have a few other graphics cards in that would make a great pair for this let me know in the comments below do you have a ryzen 5 3600 and what type of games are you playing and what kind of performance are you getting this is our look back at the ryzen 5 3600 but until the next time we'll catch you in the next one